Is okay, it both Willow, we gotta shut up. Okay. Is it filming? Yeah. Is this thing on? <laughs> um, hello? So, should I start opening up? Wait, let me make sure that everything looks good. That was hot. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel for our first video ever. We decided that we wanted to do a 20 questions tag because you guys obviously don't know who we are, so we kind of want to answer questions so you get to know us a little bit better. So I have pre-selected questions from various websites. Yeah, we didn't want to do like one tag with like from one website because some of the questions are like absolutely stupid. So we like compiled our own. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Question number one. Are you a morning or night person? Um... I'm probably a night person just because I'm a bad, really bad insomniac. <laughs> like I have to take like 30 melatonin to go to sleep. <laughs> so I'm definitely a night person. Okay, this is like really weird, but I'm like 100% a morning person. Like I I'm literally like not even joking. I will literally wake up like whenever my alarm goes off and I'll be like perfectly fine. I woke like, up no late. Coffee. I woke up late this morning. <laughs> so I don't know how you did that. Okay, question two, uh, what is a big pet peeve of yours? Oh, I hate loud people. People that are like loud all the time. Yeah. They just don't know how to lower their voice. They like scream all the time and they like laugh really loud. They just got on my nerves. I've yelled at a few people because they do not know how to be quiet. <laughs> okay, so my biggest pet peeve is, it has to do with traffic. I'm at school. We have like a really big school. We have like 2000 yeah. kids or whatever. And the parking lot is completely full of like idiotic drivers. No one at our school knows how to drive. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I've actually been hit a couple of times at our school like parked. <laughs> so basically I'm parked on the third row and there's like a stop sign right there. So like every car has to come to a stop at the end of my row. People like literally like will not let you out. They will not. Yes, like every time I'm leaving, there's always that one person like waiting like 20 minutes to yeah, leave. Yeah, like it's ridiculous. That happened to me last year. I had to wait like 20 minutes one day just to leave because I parked like towards the end where people had to stop. I've learned my lesson now. I parked yeah. at the opposite end. Just so, like let people out. It literally takes like five Even though I didn't let someone else today, but okay. <laughs> okay. Question number three. If you could share a meal with one individual living or dead, who would it be? Um, I really want to say someone like Lana Del Rey. But like, that's kind of stupid. And who do I want to have dinner with? I'm going to say Rupi Carr. Who the hell? She's like a poet. <laughs> I really just want to like have a coffee with her or something. Like that'd be fun. Edgar Allan Poe? I'm that. <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe. Okay. I want to have dinner with Shakespeare. <laughs> I need ideas, people. God. Oh my God, she'd eat cigarettes on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't know, we have people in the back. So if they start laughing, Ooh. we're just going to have them as like our voiceovers. You guys spill tea, we're going to go. <laughs> I would have to go with Oprah Winfrey. That's a good one though. Oprah for Prez. Well, she's better than <laughs> Donald J. Trump. <clears throat> Next question. Who would you want to play you in a movie of your life? Oh, I want Sufjan Stevens to play me. It's not that he resembles me in any way. I just love him. Depends on if we're talking about my adult self or... Like you're not an adult at all yet. <laughs> my future adult self or like my now self. I think I would go with Nick Robinson. Love Who Simon. is that? Oh! <gasps> oh my God. I really want to see that movie so bad. What is the last text you sent? My phone's up there, so I don't know. I'll just answer this one then. I'm excited. It was to my mom. Oh my god. And she asked me what I want from the grocery store, and I said, I can't remember. Oh, the last text I sent was to Emma. Oh, but I'm going off on Emma. <laughs> I wasn't going off on Emma. I was like, funny. Let me just you. get the quote correct. I have to get some effing money from my grandma. I'm wasting my effing gas. Okay. I have this much gas left. <laughs> Next question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you could do high school all over again, would you? Honestly, no. And the reason is because literally today there were these homophobic freshmen in my art class. Our, today we were talking about this artist. I can't remember his name, but he does like really detailed paintings. She showed us his paintings that were like really gruesome and dramatic. And then she showed us one that was like of this boy that had like a basket of fruit in his hand. And like, I turned to my friend and I was like, he's such a twink. And then the teacher was like, so can anybody like tell me what you think about the artist now that you're seeing this? I kind of like whispered, he's gay. And she was like, he actually is gay. And then the kids behind me that were sitting at a table, all freshmen, they were like, ugh, gay. And I was like, what are you serious? Concept? Like, what is this? Like, <laughs> what is gay? <laughs> so to the homophobic ones out there, subscribe, like, subscribe. I would 100% not do high school all over again. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Next question. What is the most trouble you ever got in at school? Oh, <laughs> one time I called a girl a hooker and I got, <laughs> and I got in trouble with the principal. And I lied my way out of it though. I'm a great liar. The girl that I called a hooker was in there because like I said it at lunch and all these people were like going around saying like, oh my God, he called her a hooker. And I was like, okay. The vice principal, I don't think it was like the actual principal. She called us at the office and she was like, why did you do that? And I, I lied my way out of it. I was like, 
I didn't call her a hooker. I was talking to my friends and I was like, she's such a, huh. And she believed me. She believed me. She's like, this isn't gonna go on your record or anything. And I was like, good, cause I didn't call her one. <laughs> okay, I'm a pretty good kid. Like that's the most trouble I ever got it. Okay, so mine involves Emma. Hello. Our friend okay, Emma, who's in the gonna, background. Yeah, Emma's in the background. I got Emma in like a lot of trouble in school. So basically we were in third grade and hold up your hand like this. Okay, so there was this like little, there's Emma right there. <laughs> okay, there's this stupid. I'm still pissed about this. <laughs> okay, there's like this little stupid prank going around where you would go one, two, three, four, five, and then they would put that finger down. One, two, three, four, five, put that finger down. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and then like, she basically like flipped me off and she was like, oh my God, like I'm religious. <laughs> I was in third grade. <laughs> Why are you so in trouble? They literally told me to stop tattletailing and you didn't get in trouble. I had to go to the office. <laughs> but then they gave me ice cream. Is that the most I'll be- <laughs> I was a good in. kid, like I was- the most He got in. ice cream from making me flip him off. Tell them what you thought it meant to flip someone off. Somebody told me in third grade that if you flip somebody off, it means you hate God. So I was like, oh my gosh, I do not hate God. Or uh, excuse me, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, next me. question. Have you ever been to another country? I haven't, but I know you have. Okay, I've been to Mexico, Belize, Honduras. Honduras. <laughs> the Dominican Republic and the Bahamas. I haven't been out of country. But we're yet. going on another cruise. Yeah, we're going on a cruise like, and we'll be in Progreso months. and Cozumel, which, which is, is like, both in Mexico. Mexico. So we're excited. I know how to say puta, that's it. <laughs> Next question. If you had to give up one of your five senses for the rest of your life, which one would it be? Okay, that's really hard because my worst fear is going deaf. <laughs> but maybe, I don't know. Touch. I would lose my sense of touch. Okay. <laughs> because like that's the only thing that I really don't care about. I would go with smell. Why? Because like I, because you. Use I find that'd be good too. Yeah, and like you mean you can still see. Like when you're your eating her. Octave. Like you can't smell it. Have you ever been given a driving ticket? Um, I haven't, but that's my worst fear. <laughs> oh my god. I know you have. <laughs> Tell okay. that story. Story. Okay. So one day after school. Three. Keep in mind, in a school zone. I was going 30 in our school zone. 15 like, miles per hour. Zone. Our school zone is 15 miles per hour. He was going 30. Actually, like our friend Zane was going like really fast and he got pulled over and we got the same punishment. That's so But funny. he wasn't in a school zone. He so. deserved it. Biggest fear. God, dying alone. My biggest fear probably is like, getting pulled over by a cop because cops scare me like so much. Like I passed a cop literally today and I freaked out. My biggest fear is snakes. I'm a freaking idiot. So... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was editing the video that we did for the first part that you just saw, and my iCloud gave me a message that said, like, you don't have enough storage. I started deleting things, and I went to go delete some pictures, and I accidentally deleted this video that was being edited in iMovie. The second half. Yeah, the second half. And um, I went to delete it on accident, and it didn't go to recently delete it. It just deleted it, because I didn't have enough, like, storage for recently deleted, apparently, so. That's why we're having to redo this. But right. on the bright side, Dakota's wearing a really cool shirt. Stand up and show me. Um, I cannot stand up in this, but- Why be racist, sexist, homophobic, or transphobic when you can just be quiet? That's the tea. That's the real tea. So we're gonna start off doing the questions that we left off on. We changed the questions a little bit just because we don't want to do the same questions again because they wouldn't be like raw. <laughs> Question number- Whatever, I don't know. This will not be 20 questions. Like it'll probably be less. Like we have no yeah, idea. It'll probably be like five more. What is your favorite fast food chain? Uh, well, we have like eight Chick-fil-A cups in here right now. You already know. So we're gonna have to say Chick-fil-A for both of us, yeah, definitely. Like nothing compares. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? I would live anywhere in France just cause I love France. I want to be a florist in France someday. I would live in Costa Rica, I think, because it's really pretty there. And it's kind of like secluded been. and I'm further away from fun. like all the annoying people that I know, you know? Yeah. You get it? Yeah. What fact do you <laughs> What fact do you try to ignore? The fact that Donald Trump is our president. The fact Hashtag that, not my president. <laughs> I think the fact that I try to ignore is that I'm about to graduate high school in like four months. And like yeah. I literally have no idea what I'm doing with my life. Like I know what college I'm Me going either. to and I already have all that said, I've already been accepted and all that crap. I just like don't know like what I'm gonna study or anything. I just have like a shirt. I don't even know like I don't have a job right now and I don't know what I'm gonna do for a job at this school. I'm just like kind of stressed about that. But like I'm just trying to ignore it. Just put it off as long as possible as usual. So <laughs> next question. 
Are you an introvert or extrovert? And for me, it depends on who I'm around. Like if I'm with people that I'm really good friends with, I'm an extrovert, I'm like kind of more out there, I'm not loud. But when I'm around people that I'm not really familiar with, I'm like pretty quiet. So I'm like a mix of both. I think I'm a mix of both as well, but it just really depends because I don't like talking to people just because I just don't like talking that much. Oh my God. <laughs> like I'll literally talk to anyone, but I just like don't want to, you know? Mood. People annoy me. <laughs> okay, what's one thing you really want in life? Okay, well the first thing I thought of was a sugar daddy <laughs> because I've tried so hard to get an actual sugar daddy. It's not even funny. Like whenever I had grinder, I had like my whenever bio. you had grinder, you, you act like it's not downloaded on your phone right now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't expose me. <laughs> well, like my old one, I guess I should say. My old one, like my bio was need sugar daddy. Like I'm not even kidding. It said need sugar daddy. That was extreme. <laughs> that was and... the most. I would get messages every like every single day, like I'll be your sugar daddy, and people would send me like their bank statements and like what how much money they had in their bank and everything. And there was this one guy this close to having a freaking sugar daddy. I was gonna meet up with him to get money, but the app stopped working and I couldn't like message him. That's so so important. I had to pay for my own food, sadly. <laughs> what about you? I think what I really want in life is to just be financially stable and like have my own apartment and stuff. I know that's like a really low shooting goal for the moment. I think it's good just because I have no income at all. So he's gonna have to squat somewhere. <laughs> so I guess like having a little bit of cash would be good. Like just enough to get me on my feet and in my own place. Yeah. We're both looking at each other like in the camera and on like the <laughs> mirror. So we're like looking up and down. What kind of parent do you think you'll be? Um, I won't be one. I'll have one cat and maybe a dog. I really want a Sphinx cat. <laughs> That's like all I want, honestly. Okay. <laughs> and maybe like I'll have a roommate too. So, but like no like kids or anything like that. I am going to be a dog father, like entirely dogs, just nothing else. Like, like 20 dogs. I'm not gonna have a spouse, just dogs. And I really want a golden retriever and a golden doodle. Oh, I love golden doodles. When have you felt your biggest adrenaline rush? Probably the one time that I met up with this guy that was like 22, 23 something. I went to his house, we started hanging out. Keep in mind, I'm 17. So I went to his house and I wasn't expecting like anything to happen. This is a completely different story time. Like I will tell that story if you want. I went to his house, like just hanging out with his roommates and stuff. And he was like, we should go upstairs. And I was like, okay. So we went upstairs, a few things happened. I had a really big adrenaline rush. I was like, okay, let's get it. <laughs> I think the biggest adrenaline rush I've ever had was whenever I went to this secluded area in Alabama, we were staying in a cabin and it was kind of like on a mountain and there was like a waterfall like right behind the cabin and it was like overlooking this gigantic drop off and there was like a little lake below it. It was me and my cousin and like a lot of my family. And then we had my uncle's dog with us and we were kind of just like hiking. It was like a group of us and my uncle's dog was like on a leash with us. And then we saw another dog like about 500 feet away and it was humongous, like the biggest dog I've ever seen in my entire life. And then it saw my uncle's dog and it went psycho. It started like chasing after us. And I literally had like the caveman SpongeBob moment and I was oh like, my God. what do I do? And I like jumped in the back of this truck right beside us. Like, I don't know whose truck it was. I didn't really care. It's a random truck. Yeah, it was just like a random truck just sitting oh there. And I was like, diving in. <laughs> so that was my biggest adrenaline rush. <laughs> What do you think about sexting? I do it all the time, love it. Completely recommend it if you're doing it mutually. Like just don't make it one-sided because that'll be awkward and nobody wants that. I think if you're into that kind of stuff, then okay. you should go for it. Jaden acts like he doesn't even know what a penis is. What is that? Oh my God. <laughs> if you could change one law, what would it be? Drinking age, I think it's stupid to have it at 21. That's my answer too. We're not with the same person. That's why it works so well together. Oh well. I think 21 is like way too high. I think it should be at least 18, maybe 17 even. Like, let's make it like three. Just don't even have a drinking egg. Oh. What's the point? When they're out of the room, give them a bottle of tequila and they'll be good. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna end it on that note. Thank you for keeping up with this craziness. I'm so glad that you enjoyed this mess of a video. It's Today, probably... Today is Friday. <laughs> we filmed the first half of this video on Tuesday. Yeah. And we came to Emma's house, this is where we're at right now. It's at 3.30. And we were gonna film as soon as we got here. It is currently 11.30. You probably can tell that I'm so tired and I didn't bring melatonin either, so I don't know if I'm gonna sleep tonight. But I hope this video is not too long and I hope you get to watch it and I hope it's really funny. And we just hope you enjoy it. The first half is probably funnier because it was like in the moment and this half is like, we just wanna go to bed. <laughs> so like and subscribe, leave a comment if you want telling us what you want us to do next and we will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.